Okay, so it's 7 p.m. Friday, 71 degree <laughs> joke, but it's 7 p.m. on a Friday night, and I got the craziest idea. So I've been crocheting for a while now, well, since recently, and I'm supposed to make a crochet cardigan. So I'm like, let me see if I can make this crochet cardigan overnight for you guys, so you can see some fat. So I'm just here to get some threads. Let's go. So we are here, here are the threads. And I need brown. Uh, okay, so I have my threads. I am heading back home to start my project. And hopefully I can get it done by tomorrow. Okay, so I'm back home. I am in my pajamas. I'm ready to go. Uh, so I worked. I was supposed to work tonight, but they called me off. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to just do this. So this is the yarn that I'm using. I'm going to make some granny squares like this. Then I join them together. I was doing this, but I decided I'm going to leave this project until a later, later date. So this is what I was making with this one. So this is half of it. And this is the other half. So it's gonna be a cardigan. Yep. Mm. Let me show you. So let's go into this one now. Okay, so now it's 12 a.m. I've only done um, five squares, five squares, and this five square, I think it would be like one, two, three. So the front and the sleeve, I think, I would need six squares for the front and the front sleeve so I don't think I'm gonna be done because I have work tomorrow night but I'm going to continue and see how far I can make it until I'm tired but this chair is hurting my back so I'm going to sit in the bed then continue let's go Okay, so I'm done with one side of the front. Now I have the other side and the back. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six squares already. Um, I need 23. So let's go. Oh, it's now 1 a.m. Okay, so I have made nine squares from one roll of yarn. I am just going to make one more square for the arm over there. Then I'm going to call it a night um so in all i need 23 and i'm going to make 10 which is the front then i'll make the rest tomorrow maybe because i have work tomorrow night and that's gonna be it oh it's 3 30 now so i'm going to stop at 4 a.m and then continue later on so after 16 hours so as you guys can remember on the first day this is friday a week later because i had work and i needed to rest so initially friday i did from 8 p.m to 4 a.m 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 so that's eight hours then yesterday i did from 6 p.m to 1 a.m. So that's like 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 7. And then this morning now, I did like an hour or an hour and a half. So I'd say 16 hours and I am done with my 
23 squares so now it's time to join them and I'm thinking should I join them with the darker brown or the lighter brown what do you think put it down in the comment section but yeah I think I think the lighter brown gives a more calming effect the darker brown I don't know I think I'm gonna go with the lighter brown I think the lighter brown matches the squares better because I don't see any of this brown in the squares any at all even though it would give it like a variation but I'm going to join them now then I'll make the sleeve and the little um, section at the front but you'll see when it's done I'll make it quick but anyway let's go okay so I joined two squares together and that's how it looks it's not too visible it's kind of seamless color is not too bright maybe the brown I probably could mix it up anyway so this will be the front because I want to see I want to show the um where they are joined that's the style I'm going for and this is the back this will be the inside of the cardigan uh, I use the crochet needle it's a bit slow it's the first time I'm well it's the first time I'm doing this in general but I feel like using a needle instead would have, like the sewing needle would have made it faster but I wouldn't get this stitch out outside it would look like this and probably that's not a bad idea but let's see um yeah because I don't have too much time but what time is it now it's now 10 30 I need to be asleep by 12 so I can get some rest for work and then I will finish this up tomorrow which is Saturday when you guys will be seeing this so let's go I'll show you how I do this attachment So I'm just learning how to do this. So I'm trying to find what works for me, what makes it go faster, but still not messy for me. So yeah, so that's what I, that's why I took so long to get those stitched together. And it, it also makes sense which side you have the, the squares on. If you have it both squares has to be on the same side that they were stitched on so they can join better because you are e easier to find to make the stitches line up with each other when they are on the same side but because they looks both sides look alike the front and the back look alike so it's hard to tell which is the back and which is the front okay so I am done with the front of the cardigan so my plan is to go to the Walmart and get the needle and do the back because honestly the thread is really not showing any contrast so I'm just going to do the quicker method for the back. So this is the front so as you can see it's going to be a long sleeve and this will be the front and this is the other side so that's pretty much it let me see so i'm back at walmart to get the needle so yeah. oh just leaving work so i'm just gonna get the needle and home finish up the project and then 
I got it. This is all I came for, and uh, now I'm leaving, heading home. Okay, so I am home now, so I'm, a, I'm just gonna go finish up all the squares, join them together, and then I'll come back when I am done with the final product. It's now 9 a.m. I have work tonight, so I have to just be quick about it. I'm not gonna lie, this challenge was challenging. It's Saturday morning, it's 11 a.m. now, and I have to go to sleep because I have work, so I need to get at least six hours sleep. So I have the front joined to, well, I need to put on one more sleeve for the back. So the front is done, and then the back, I need to put on this one more sleeve, and that's gonna be it. I will show you guys the finished product. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment below. But yeah, let's finish and see how far we can go. So I am finally done with the sweater cardigan. And it's not mine, <laughs> it's a gift, but I'm just showing you guys how cute this is. I love it so much. And it's my first try. 